All right, so in this problem, I have 11 to the power of 9x plus 11 is equal to 9 to the power of 11. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 11 to the power of 9x plus 11 is equal to log 9 to the power of 11. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 11 to the power of 9x plus 11, I can move 9x plus 11 to the front. So now I have 9x plus 11 times log 11 is equal to log sorry 11 times log 9 because I move 9 to the front or sorry 11 to the front now if I distribute log 11 to 9x plus 11 I get 9x times log 11 sorry I'm actually not going to distribute instead I'm going to actually divide both sides by log 11 So then these two cancel out, and I have 9x plus 11 is equal to 11 times log 8 over log 11. Now, log 8 this is equal to 0 0.9542 and log 11, this is equal to 1.0414. Now, zero point nine five four two divided by 1.0414 that's equal to 0 0.9163. And 11 times 0 0.9163, that's equal to 10.0789. So now we have a simple equation. I'm gonna start by subtracting 11 on both sides, and I get 9x is equal to 10.0789 minus 11 which is equal to negative 0 0.9211. And now if I divide both sides by 9, I get x is equal to negative 0 0.1023. All right, so in this problem, I have 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log 100 to the power of x is equal to log 200. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move my exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So for log 100 to the power of x, I can move x to the power of front. So now I have x times log 100 is equal to log 200. Now, if I divide both sides by log 100, these two cancel out, and I have x is equal to log 200 over log 100. Now, log 200 I can rewrite as log 100 times 2. Now I have this over log 100. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, log 100 times 2, I can write as log 100 plus log 2. And now I have this over log 100.
Now, this is the same thing as log 100 over log 100 plus log 2 over log 100. And log 100 and log 100, those two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 100. Now, log 100, this is the same thing as log of 10 squared. So I have 1 plus log 2 over log 10 squared. And remember, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move my exponent to the front. So now this is the same thing as 1 plus log 2 over 2 times log 10. Now, if you guys already didn't know, log 10, that's equal to 1. Now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over 2 times 1, which is 2. And log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301. So I have 0 0.301 over 2. And this is equal to 1 plus 0 0.1505, which is 1.1505. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x plus a to the power of x is equal to 10. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by rewriting 8 here as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is equal to 10. Now, if I have something in form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 3 times x. However, this is also the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. So all I did was simply switch these two exponents places. Now I'm going to let 2 to the power of x is equal to y. So now I have y plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 10. Now, if I subtract 10 on both sides, I get y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, to solve this, I actually have to first get one value of y. So then using that value, I can find the rest of the values. So to find that first value, I actually have to start by guessing. And if I start by using 1, 1 to the power of 3 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 minus 10 is negative 8. So that wouldn't work. Well, 2, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 minus 10 is 0. So 2 is going to work. Meaning, a factor of this is going to be y minus 2. This is a factor of y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10. So now, to solve this, I actually have to divide y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 over y minus 2. And if... You can either divide this using long division or synthetic division, but you get that this is the same thing as y squared plus 2y plus 5 times y minus 2. So y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 is equal to y squared plus 2y plus 5 times y minus 2. And this is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0, and I have y minus 2 is equal to 0. So for y minus 2 equals 0, y is obviously equal to 2. And for y squared plus 2y plus 5 equals 0, we have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared all over 2a. So in this case, I have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 5. Well, if you see here, 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5, that's 4 minus 20, which is the square root of negative 16, which we can't take the square root of a negative number, so this, isn't, it's just, so this wouldn't work. So my only solution is y equals 2, meaning, remember how we set 2 to the power of x is equal to y, meaning 2 to the power of x is equal to 2, and x is equal to 1.